All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here in studio. We got Jason Avery, Avery Construction in the house, and a special guest as well, Mike Sovey. Been there, dumped that. Uh, coming up here in just a moment. Before we do, we always like to feature our real estate listings, and I want to let you know about the Great American Cigar Tour with Sebastian Gorka. Get ready, Tampa Bay, AM 860, The Answer, and Wired Differently proudly present an evening with the one and only Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Uh, join us on Tuesday, March 19th for an unforgettable discussion on politics and life, all while indulging in the finest cigars. That's right. It's an exclusive event you don't want to miss. Uh, join us at the Cigar uh, Corona Cigar Company in Tampa. Doors open at 630. Reserve your spot now for an evening filled with insight, laughter, and camaraderie at TheAnswerTampa.com. Get your tickets at TheAnswerTampa.com. All right, a couple of hot listings here from the Platinum MVP team. Uh, we got a property at 8333 New York Avenue in Hudson. This is a commercial property. Uh, we have multiple structures on site, one and a half acres. Zoning is C3, compromising of three distinct structures, two residential buildings, one warehouse. Uh, this property owner's motivated here, wants to make a sell on this thing. Uh, you have one of the... Um, the, the units are all occupied, that is. Month-to-month leases generating about $3,300 a month in income. You have warehouse amenities, office space, climate-controlled two-bay garage, body width, uh, body lift as with a car lift as well. Storage, warehouse spaces, boat and RV parking. Uh, one and a half acres on New York Avenue in Hudson, Florida. Uh, one of our commercial listings from the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Also has residential structures there as well. Uh, so it may be zoned uh, mixed use as well. Uh, the other property is 5930 River Road in Newport Ritchie. This one is a waterfront beauty. Uh, bring your boat, bring your jet skis, enjoy that Florida lifestyle to the fullest. 2,000 square foot home, Half an acre lot, 80 feet of frontage on the Cody River at 5930 River Road, Newport Ritchie. Bay access kitchen uh, with an oak breakfast bar, greenhouse window. Uh, you have formal dining room with chandelier, stained glass windows. Uh, you have a large living room with wood beams, a coffered ceiling, fireplace. Uh, too many upgrades to mention here. You also have a metal roof, stone construction, cypress wood shingles. And you can see all of our real estate listings at Platinum Coastal Elite. Dot com. Jason Avery in the house. Welcome back, sir. Glad to be here, brother. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming in. One of the long, another one. You know, I mentioned it from time to time, but one of the longest running uh, show partners on and off for uh, probably we, nine we, years now. We've been doing this stuff for a lot of years now. That's for sure. Man. Yeah, man. Yep. And you just had a birthday. Uh, I did. I did. Forty-seven now. So nice. Yeah, older all the time. You know, I, I, I still feel young, but uh, I have my fifth grandbaby at the beginning of the month wow that's February. awesome man so very cool yeah, blessed five. and highly favored right there I, I i feel good about it yeah so, yeah i'll tell you what man uh the one of the biggest projects i've mentioned a few times over the last several sessions was uh a, a project for my wife and uh we, and that was uh, a new business that we opened for her and it's the hottest new thing in brooksville so uh you know avery construction finally got to the end of a nine-month battle over permitting and engineering and uh, requirements to uh an extensive construction project, and uh, we've now opened Glow, Glow Therapeutic Spa. Uh, it's located at 947 West Jefferson Street in Brooksville, and it offers uh, therapeutic massages, all-natural facials, a salt rock chamber, infrared uh, sauna, and then we have this extra special room that uh, we're going to be setting up a calendar of events with different women coming in offering a variety of different services and there's all kinds of things we're looking into if if you're a female entrepreneur in the wellness and holistic space uh, definitely reach out to us because uh, we want to fill this spot with you know skin cancer screenings and nutritional tests for your allergies and uh, we want to have uh, chiropractic and we want to have acupuncture and, and we want to have cryotherapy and, and you know IV drip and stem cell all those things uh, that the, the women want these days the alternatives to taking you know pharmacy pharmaceutical hard drugs or right. getting major surgeries yeah i mean it, my kind of some of my wife's inspiration she you know was having tummy aches and uh she went to a doctor and the first knee-jerk reaction was oh maybe we should rip out you know half of your female parts and, wow and 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 my wife refused to accept that as the initial answer. She got other opinions. Right. She went on a regiment of vitamins and just doing everything perfect for a few months yep. and, and was able to you know cure all her own issues and, right. and feel good every day again. So yeah, she's a nurturer. She enjoys bringing, you know, uh, happiness to people and helping them through, uh, you know, their pain and, and, and find a, a more natural and healthy way to get back on track versus, you know, 
right doing the hardcore surgeries or drugs yeah exactly and that's what the medical profession wants to throw at you the the pharmaceutical industrial complex and uh they do that they it, do they throw that at you now, i, I mean it's because they're just billing insurance companies you yeah. know i mean it's like you know how much can they possibly charge for some of this stuff so so the glow spa my glow spa.com my glow spa.com is where you can look it up there's a link there where you can uh, get access to the calendar to book appointments or just call in and uh, you know e- either way uh it's by appointment only as we're ramping up but uh there is important employment opportunities there as well so somebody who's got experience in massage therapy and or estheticians um those are people we want to talk to as well uh, for an employment opportunity now you mentioned uh women's is it, is it open to men too oh yes yeah, 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 don't okay. get me wrong the, the spa services both men and women okay. and, uh, but I, I ideally my wife it, it's the kind of place where the girls want to just hang out every day Spotted. you know it's not yeah. like going to work it's you know all the girls are going to enjoy all the treatments themselves and, yeah. and uh you know help other people feel right that's awesome man yeah that's awesome so so i brought a special guest today and i like yeah. uh, like usual i like to try and feature some of the guys that i enjoy working with the most and uh so at all my construction projects at avery construction uh we always need a dumpster of course to tear yeah. things out and i've been through some services that uh you know didn't exactly make me proud you know leave rust stains on the driveways or scratch up the new pavers things like that so uh I, when i found this guy man it's been a no-brainer i've never never looked back again but mike sovion's been there dumped that and i'll let him tell you more about his residentially friendly containers and the way he delivers and nice. sets them down and he's got a solid business here so I'm, yeah w- want to show him off a little bit welcome in mike thank you appreciate you having me yeah man what t- tell us a little bit more about the business yeah, so i uh, been there, done that, residential-friendly dumpsters. As Jason said, we deliver to a lot of contractors, uh, general contractors, roofers, all different sorts. And uh, we are focused on wowing the customer. And that's not just our general contractors, but it's your customer as well. So that homeowner cares if their driveway gets scratched up or stained up, like Jason said. Uh, they care whether you drive off the driveway and ruin their sprinklers. So uh, right. our staff, our drivers, takes a lot of care in delivering that dumpster. We do run some smaller trucks so we can get them into tighter spaces. And we will be there on the day we say we're going to be there, and we will get it out of there the day you need it out of there. So nice. So all based on service. Has yeah. the uh, junk, has the uh, fees gone up significantly for dumps? I know my, my brother was doing a job the other day, and he told me it seemed like it went up significantly. Yes. For uh, landfill? Yeah, so we do volume, right? So we yeah. have preferential pricing to say someone that maybe goes once but we saw them go up three times last year and they went up three times the year before as well wow wow yeah it's tough on they're making it tough on the working man aren't they so, yeah yes. so what makes it unique with these containers from him is that you know they have higher sidewalls than mm. your average roll-off container so he's able to reduce the size of the footprint that it takes up of your driveway and stuff so we can yeah. still get because most of my customers actually live at the job site while we're working so right. they're you know still need use of the driveway yeah and uh and, and then also just it doesn't have to roll off where it can scratch the, his trucks have these like arms that just set it down and they put a piece of plywood underneath it every time or some you know uh two by tens or something like that just to support it and hold it up keep it off of the you know the, the surface you're setting it on right they, they always have a fresh coat of paint on them and stuff you know that was the thing you know most of these were a rust bucket inside the yep. old containers they used to work with and yeah. Um, but yeah, solid service. I had the privilege of uh, going with Mike to the uh, the the national uh, conference, which was hosted in Tampa this year. He got me on stage to be a, a panel speaker of a couple contractors to explain to the rest of the franchise owners all around the country, you know, why contractors are a good solid fit. But this business was started with just regular residential homeowners, you know, people that you would serve. You know, yeah. if somebody's gonna, you know, buy or sell the house, they're probably gonna drop a container out there and you know, lick, clean things out a little bit, you know. The spring cleaning and so that hauling side of things that's definitely uh you know valuable resource yeah for yeah it sure is uh so you guys know mike Rowe. you heard the name mike Rowe, right he was on tv dirty for jobs, a lot of right? dirty yeah, jobs yeah. yeah he's on the he's he was on a uh, podcast Lovely, i listened to a lot of fellow uh show host uh, charlie kirk who's on right before our show airs uh so i thought this would be a good clip for us to talk about there's 11 million jobs that are still needed to be filled uh right now in the united states this is not a a figment of our imagination. We have right now, Charlie, and I know you know this, uh, 11 million unfilled jobs yes. in our country. Uh, m- most of them don't require a four-year degree. They require training. And so, you know, my my soapbox for all this really comes down to the existence of all that opportunity juxtaposed with $1.7 trillion in student loans and our stubborn insistence to still tell a whole generation of kids that they're screwed without a four-year degree. It's nuts. And 
Mike, as you were going to, you know, episode 30, 40, how happy they are regardless of what they're doing, you contrast that if you walk into Google, I don't think that their coders are as happy as someone who is on – with, and I, working with their hands, someone that's out there working yeah, with their hands, yeah. you know, it's a big difference there. Go ahead. Yeah, Jason. so I've had the opportunity to go to a few high schools and speak at like career fairs just to represent the trades and to yeah. show, you know, high school students that in a college might not be the path for everybody, but there's definitely viable opportunities in learning the trades. And and then using myself as an example, and uh, I, I've been in the business for 30 years. And uh, I don't swing a hammer. I never really did. You right. know, there's sales opportunities and design opportunities, and then there's management opportunities, and, yep. and then of course there's entrepreneurial opportunities to develop and build your own business from the ground up. Yeah. I started with three guys doing labor and a bookkeeper one day a week. Now there's 45 people and an administrative team that runs the business mostly without me. Yep. So it, you know, I, I try to show that to the kids. And uh, I, those jobs, it's genuine. Those jobs are open. The problem is, is that a lot of our kids don't want the darn jobs. Yeah. And, uh, they, 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 you know, even the ones that aren't wanting to go to school, they don't necessarily want to go do physical labor. Yeah. And I tell you what, it's part of the reason why we've got to fix our broken ass immigration mess up here. And yeah. all these people are flooding over. Yep. And, uh, well, you know what? We actually need some of them. We need labor. We need workers. But can we stop and vet them a little bit and make yep. sure we don't have terrorists in the mix too? You exactly. know, I mean, yep. give me a break. There's got to be some compromise in government yeah. here. The COVID, right? Uh, yeah. You know, the COVID's coming across the border. Wow. Well, I thought we were all worried about the COVID, right? <laughs> it's uh, the COVID. It's but, the fentanyl. It's the guns. It's yeah, the, you know, exactly. it's the bad, bad actors, you know, but there's plenty of good people there too. Big they time. need a genuine job and there's plenty of jobs that yep. are going to be filled. Yep. And, uh, but, yeah. uh, do it legally. That's right. Uh, we're talking with Jason Avery, Avery Construction, and Mike Sovey uh, in the house as well. Mike, I want to get your take as well. And, and uh, you know, kind of my take is that you know you have a lot of these unfilled jobs, and it's it's not uh, prestigious in the in the eyes of some of these youngsters. But yeah, it can be. You can you know you got you got millionaires that own businesses. They're plumbers. They're electricians. I know right across the street from me in a pretty high end community, uh, there's a, a plumber. You know, plumbing company sold his house or you know property still under contract, but it's close to two million dollars. I mean, so. You you can be very successful in the trades. The blue collar millionaires yeah. make up the silent majority. Yeah. Exactly. You know? That's right. Yeah. What's your take on that micro clip? Absolutely. Uh, you know, having the opportunity to go find a job or a passion and then turn that into a business career or, you know, sales is a great way to go too. So uh, it's been our number one struggle the last three years is finding people to fill the seats. And that's both in our office and in our trucks. Well, yeah. There may be more jobs coming available though. Cause interestingly enough, the, uh, the, market is shifting a little bit right now. I've had three past crew leaders that worked for me in over the last several years and then left for greener grass, they thought. Yep. Yep. And I've had three of those guys call me back just in the last couple of weeks asking if I've got any opportunity because they're all dried up. Yeah. And uh, we've had, I've had three new designers, two of them coming from a staffing company saying I got these you know talented people available that aren't where they were because there wasn't enough opportunity. Yep. I got somebody called me from saying, you know, citing that he works for my competition, but interested in, uh, you know, seeing if the grass is greener on my side. Right. So it's just interesting. There's a lot of people making a lot of moves right now. And yeah. so it seems like some people are drying up on their opportunities. The market needs to shift yeah. a little bit. And there's a trend, I believe, towards homeschooling and, and the, the, you know, the uh, kind of undergrad studies or the, uh, you know, high school, elementary, uh, middle school, you know, homeschooling trends with all the stuff going on in the public schools that you see as well. And and then you also see, I believe, there's going to be a major trend as well away from the four-year useless degree that you get at some of these uh, colleges and these universities. We saw the the rot uh, that was prevalent at Harvard with the, uh, you know, the dean and the, the president there lying on their test and faking uh, plagiarizing their their um, you know document their documents that they had to get into the school but yeah I think you're seeing a trend towards that and shout out to Charlie Kirk as well he wrote a book called College Scam uh, which outlines you know I think it's 13 indictments against the uh, the industry it as a whole so so yeah we need more plumbers electricians uh, you know men and women out there working with their hands getting dirty and getting jobs done and and that's the American dream also Jason you hit on it it's, it's the fact that you know in America if you work hard you go out there and you may start off swinging the hammer, right? You may start off, you know, doing the, some of the dirty work, but then you work yourself into that management position. Now you're overseeing things. Now you're growing, you're out there networking, you're making the business grow. You're, you're, you're getting deals done. And now uh, you're in a position where you're not uh, as involved in the day-to-day -day operations, but uh, let's take a quick break there. More with Jason Avery, Avery construction and home remodeling, as well as Mike Sovey here on the consumer quarterback show. Follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one at CQB show and please subscribe to the YouTube channel 
Brandon Rhymes Realty. We will be right back. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. To get in touch with Brandon, call 727-263-3707. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Patriot Mobile is America's only Christian conservative wireless provider who shares your values. They offer the very best nationwide coverage on 4G and 5G LTE networks and exceptional 100% U.S.-based customer support. Patriot Mobile offers discounts for veterans and first responders, NRA members, and families with multiple lines. Learn more at PatriotMobile.com forward slash consumer QB. That's PatriotMobile.com forward slash consumer qb or if you'd like to give us a call you can reach out at 727-263-3707 that's 727-263-3707 and we'd be happy to tell you more about patriot mobile Selling commercial, vacant land, or residential properties? Don't leave money on the table. List with the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. I'm Brandon Rhymes. You can reach me at 727-263-3707. Call or text 727-263-3707 online at ConsumerQB.com. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Randy Rhymes here in studio with Jason Avery, Avery Construction, Mike Sovey, been there, dump that. And this segment is brought to you by Heights Soft Wash, a pressure washing company right here in Tampa Bay. They do a great job cleaning our real estate properties, residential, commercial properties, HeightsSoftWash.com. Say hello to Ramin Kazami, the owner. Let him know the real estate quarterback sent you, HeightsSoftWash.com. All right, we always feature our listings. we got a couple of hot ones here. This one is on 4501 Garnett Drive, Newport Ritchie, another waterfront listing from the Platinum MVP team. Uh, Garnett Drive is another uh, just a beautiful property this is in gulf harbors uh which boasts a, a beautiful waterfront clubhouse heated pools tennis courts private community boat ramp plenty of parking as well 4501 garnett drive newport ritchie two bedrooms two and a half bath 2215 square feet oversized garage canal frontage waterfront home right here in tampa bay one of the hottest real estate markets and one of the best places to live work and play 7532 Yachtsman Drive in Hudson, another waterfront property. This is a uh, property that is right with uh, right on the canal with bay access to the Gulf of Mexico. Two bedroom, two bath, 1632 uh, square feet. You have a brand new storm windows in the home, hot tub, $8,000 glass double door entry, solar panels as well, brand new kitchen, granite countertops, top of the line, stainless steel appliances. And you can see all of our real estate listings at Platinum Coastal Elite. Dot com. Check out PlatinumCoastalElite.com. All right, so we got Jason Avery, Avery Construction and Remodeling. Jason, when people think about, you know, home remodeling and construction, what are some of the misnomers that you see? What are some of the biggest complaints that you get? Well, uh, number one, first and foremost, is always going to be the price. And uh, everybody tends to have unrealistic expectations of yep. what it costs to do remodeling. And whatever you might have thought it cost as of three, four years ago, you can figure it's up about eighty to ninety percent from that. You know, yeah. it's uh, you know during the, the the inflation boom and along with the shipping channel delays and a lot of prices went up. Some came down a little, but not to where they originated from. Yeah. So uh, yeah, what what people used to expect, like a construct. I don't actually construct new homes. I build additions, you know, onto existing homes. A little more technical. I got to make it look like that's the way it was supposed to be. Yeah. And I'll just put together the erector set. But in general construction terms, where it used to cost you a hundred and twenty hundred hundred and twenty bucks a square foot for a shell, and then you'd start marking up from there based on how many bathrooms and what kind of finishes. Yep. But uh, when you start today, you're starting at like two hundred and twenty five. You know, up wow. to two fifty just for a shell. Most people are ending up in the you know three hundred range for just modest mid grade materials. You know, not yep. getting super duper high end stuff yet. And so, you know, like when we start additions, you know, you're, you're not building six thousand square feet like an entire house. You're building you know eight hundred or a thousand square feet. 
and you're not just dropping off materials and constructing. You got to start by tearing apart the existing home. Then you got to overlap your roof with new valleys, and maybe do a whole bunch more roofing to tie it in. And, yep. and then you got to put a beam where you wanted the wall open at, which is you know, load bearing engineered stuff. And so just you start checking the boxes, and it really adds up. And people spend you know three to five hundred a square foot all day long, you know, building their additions. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes even more. So yeah. it's. It, you know, just unrealistic expectations. That's the biggest thing we have to overcome every day. And we do that just by getting right to the point. You know, yeah. one thing the company offers is a same day estimate. So right. the, the day we go visit you, we slap numbers into a spreadsheet and spit out a number. It's the first rough draft yeah. at that point, but at least gets you to the right neighborhood. We can see, right. you know, if you're serious and realistic as well as, you know, if you feel we are. So, yeah, I, I, that's what I've always, uh, one of my main takeaways from when we first met and you told me that, and you were talking about that on air, even back then is that because a lot of times the contractors will come over and they, it'll take days or weeks to get something back, but you have the same day, uh, you're offering out, here's what, here's what it looks like. Here's a kind of a rough estimation of what the project's going to so, be. So as you know, I mean, I wear a few, I wear different hats. I have my construction company. I have a cabinet factory. I got my wife's new, you know, therapeutic spa, but I also have a consulting coaching company. I teach other contractors how to do the business and my pricing spreadsheet is the number one seller and i have now taught 35 other general contractors between pinellas and hillsborough county nice. how to use this method of pricing this theory behind it yeah that's so super it's, cool. it's just you know how are you going to scale your business if you can't replicate the same thing over and over and over again with consistency yes no matter whether it's salesman a b or c that designs it is it priced exactly the same for every customer yeah and uh and then you know, project manager a b or c has to follow that up and he should be able to understand and interpret based on the boxes that are checked what's included and what's not and that's it, right and then that also can eliminate all of the uncomfortableness with a client you know with about oh i thought he said that was included you right. know it's very well documented exactly. it's either in there or it's not we that's don't right. have to have uncomfortable conversations about things yeah know? you got to have it in there that's what we do up communication front. that's the number one key similar you know setting us. setting yep. clear expectations for people that's the key similar to us we have that net sheet up front you know hey here's what we're listing the property at here's what the closing costs are going to be here's what your estimated net sheet is going to be so very similar uh mike final thoughts from you as well mike sovi been there dump that yeah, uh, we do the same thing in our business. That clarity is important. We do flat fee pricing. The consumer knows what they're going to pay and drop it off, pay one price, move on. Yeah, we, before the break, we were talking about college. This is one of the things they don't teach you in college. Things like <laughs> yeah, this. They exactly. Don't, you know, they, they, if you took a marketing class, they taught you about how to spend Coca-Cola's you know, multi-million dollar budget. They don't right. t- tell you about being a startup business with a shoestring budget and yep. how to build a business off relationships and relationships really come down to that setting of expectations yeah yeah absolutely how to how to you know implement barter in some cases you know there's there's different uh things that you can do as a business owner and it's not all taught in books it's you got to learn of a lot of it you know in the field you learn it the hard way i know realtors do a lot of times <laughs> yeah i i tell you what my 20s and uh, i i i i spent some time in college i spent two and a half years in college and it's funny how that journey goes because you know i had to drop college algebra the first time because it was being taught by the calculus teacher who'd fill up three three walls full of data and speak the entire time through it you yeah. know trying to keep it i just couldn't do it i took it again taught by the lady who was the former elementary school teacher and holy cow it was so easy that i aced the course yeah got an overwrite for my prereq so i could take trig and calculus with analytic geometry at the same time yeah and all of that I still had to drop accounting twice. I couldn't get the grasp of it. The credits and debits didn't sit with me the way yep. the other math did. Yeah. After that, I went to work for corporate America for eight years, worked under a real jerk of a boss, but he beat financial statements in my head every single day. <laughs> What's the go. close ratio? What's the average sale? There you, know? you go. That's right. That's good stuff. All right. Jason Avery, Avery Construction, Mike Sovi, been there, dumped that. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good to see you, Brandon. Yep. All right. Hey, another great show. We had Mike Murphy giving away those raise tickets. Make sure you follow at Kingmakers at CQB show uh, as well. And uh, Jason Avery, Avery Construction, Mike Sovi as well. Uh, And we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Do something kind for one another. Be a force for good in the community. And we'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes. 